Welcome to the Wednesday edition of DC Today. A little more of the same today in markets. Kind of um, an interesting tug of war in that there was such positive results from a couple big tech names in their after hours last night was looking so strong from uh, both Microsoft and Google in their news reporting that it was expected it could end up being a big positive day. And in fact, the NASDAQ at one point was up well over 1%. The NASDAQ still closed up a little less than half a percent. It gave back quite a bit of its lead. And the Dow was down 230 points. S&P was down um, about 0.38% on the day. So you had just a couple big names helping out the NASDAQ into positive territory. The Dow down pretty much across the board, most sectors, most, um, uh, most areas of the market. The only positive performing sector was technology led by those two companies. Utilities were the worst performer. They're down over 2%. It's a very odd day when you have utilities and industrials down over 2%. The, um, one of the big sentiment issues is certainly the same story I talked about yesterday that you are no doubt reading about in the news, which is the ongoing downward spiral on First Republic Bank. Talk of them getting some sort of a deal, working very diligently to try to sell assets. Right now, offering to try to sell off some of their bond book at um, par value to avoid a write down and then yet get uh, equity uh, for those companies that would essentially be overpaying for their, those bond assets and then get a kicker on the other side and they're not getting any takers on that deal yet. I don't see markets really relaxing until, until that stuff gets resolved. Now that is very likely to be resolved uh, you know, in the next day or two. Perhaps it goes on the weekend. Perhaps we end up with one of those infamous Sunday uh, pop-up days. Uh, it could very well bleed into next week as well, but I sort of doubt that. Something one way or the other, a positive or negative, seems to me, feels to me like it's going to happen for this uh, reasonably prominent U.S. bank in the days ahead, and that has a more market-wide ramification. But in the meantime, earnings season continues, and you are getting pretty positive results, especially from some of these tech companies so far. So it's helping kind of offset that in impact in the market. Um, the federal funds rate is now, uh, the federal funds futures for the federal funds rate is now pricing in a 77% chance of a quarter point rate hike next week. And it had been 93%. So I'd say that 77 is still high enough to say, yeah, it's going to happen, but not high enough to say sure thing. You know, particularly if you end up with some kind of contagion effect or impact or problem from something with First Republic in the days ahead, that could end up being a catalyst for the Fed sitting on their hands next week. We will see. Um, the other news is that at 2.20 in the morning um, uh, last night, the House Rules Committee did vote to go forward putting their um, debt spending, you know, debt ceiling bill uh, for a vote. And, and again, I don't believe that uh, the Speaker McCarthy would allow that to happen, that the Rules Committee would have wanted it going to a four vote if they didn't have the 218 votes or more or believe they have the 218 votes or more. And so there may very well be the next chess move in this debt ceiling issue uh, playing out if uh, that is going forward for House passage. Um, that's kind of the major news of the day, the, the House vote and then, of course, the market volatility largely led by the uncertainty about what's about to happen to First Republic Bank. And uh, in the meantime, um, I would send you to the dctoday.com to, to read the Ask David where someone did ask me, uh, where given my outlook, given Japan vacation, given bond yields, does just going long dated bonds make a little bit of sense right now? And I contrast that versus uh, the dividend growth option that we believe to be um, uh, a worthwhile consideration in the present environment. So I'll leave it there. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for reading the DC Today. We'll come back to you again tomorrow uh, with another episode of the DC Today. Mm -hmm.